Welcome to Tech Guru for You, where we simplify tech for you. Today, we're going to embark on a fascinating journey into the world of electronics. Now, if you're wondering what electronics is, it's essentially a branch of physics and technology that deals with all things related to the emission, behavior, and effects of electrons and electronic devices. From the humble light bulb illuminating our homes, to the sophisticated smartphones in our pockets, to the high-tech cars we drive, electronics is the invisible force powering our modern world. It's an integral part of our daily lives influencing almost every aspect of our existence. Imagine a day without electronics? A daunting thought, isn't it? But fear not, for we are here to demystify this powerful yet elusive force that is electronics. So now that you know what electronics is, let's delve deeper into its components. In the world of electronics, components are grouped into two main categories, passive and active. First, we'll talk about passive components. These little guys are called passive because they don't have the ability to control the flow of current by means of another electrical signal. They are like the unsung heroes quietly doing their job to make our electronic devices work smoothly. Let's start with resistors. Just as their name suggests, resistors resist the flow of current. Think of them as the speed bumps of an electronic circuit. They slow down the current, and by doing so, they control the voltage and current to other components in the circuit. Next up, we have capacitors. These components have the ability to store and release electrical energy. Imagine them as little energy storage tanks that fill up and empty out as needed. They're crucial in applications like filtering noise out of power supplies, tuning resonant circuits, and storing energy in flash lamps. Last, but definitely not least, are inductors. These components work by creating magnetic fields. When electricity passes through an inductor, it generates a magnetic field, and when that current changes, the magnetic field does too. This property is used in many applications, like in transformers where an alternating current in one coil induces a current in a second coil. These passive components, although simple, are the building blocks of all electronic devices. Now let's move on to the other category of components, active components. Active components are the heart of electronics. They're like the conductors of an orchestra, controlling and directing the flow of electricity, the music of our electronic world. These components aren't just passive spectators, they have the power to amplify or modulate signals, making them essential for any electronic device. Let's start with transistors. Think of them as the amplifiers or switches of electronic signals. They can take a small input signal and turn it into a much larger output signal. That's why they're the backbone of many amplifiers, oscillators, and switching devices. Next up, we have diodes. These are the traffic cops of the electronic world, allowing current to flow in only one direction. They're crucial for tasks like changing alternating current to direct current and protecting circuits from sudden voltage spikes. Last but certainly not least, we have integrated circuits. These are the real multitaskers. They're complex devices that can perform various functions, from simple logic gates to complete microprocessors. They're like mini electronic cities, packed with millions of transistors, resistors, and diodes. All these active components work together to create the electronic symphony that powers our everyday devices. From your smartphone to your fridge, none of these would be possible without active components. They truly are the maestros of modern electronics. Without these active components, modern electronic devices would not be possible. So there you have it, a basic understanding of passive and active components in electronics. We've taken a deep dive into these vital elements that make up the backbone of our electronic world. From resistors, capacitors, and inductors that don't generate energy but play a crucial role in controlling the flow of current, to transistors, diodes, and integrated circuits that actively control and amplify signals, we've covered it all. Remember, understanding these components is like learning the alphabet before writing a novel. It forms the foundation of your journey in the fascinating world of electronics. It's these minute components that power our everyday gadgets, from our smartphones to our smart homes. The world of electronics is vast and ever-evolving and these fundamentals are just the beginning. So keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep innovating. For more informative videos, please hit the subscribe button and smash the bell icon. Have a nice day. Bye.